So ESPN, you guys think you're slick, huh? You guys really think you are slick. I saw what you did. And you may not think that we didn't see it, but the crap that you just pulled off was pathetic. Travis Hunter has been number one overall in all rankings. Rivals 24-7 on three. In ESPN. Yes, ESPN, he was number one overall. So Travis Hunter decides to choose a school that's best for him, his family, and his future, that understands his culture. And this is what you shines do. I'm going to talk about it. What's good, everyone? This is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. And let's cut the chase. ESPN, I'm calling you out. That stunt you pulled today was bull crap, and you know it. Travis Hunter has some of the most, not some of the, he has the most entertaining film I've seen in years. And the experts believe it as well. The experts, a.k.a. like 24-7 sports, who compared him to Charles Woodson. Now, they don't give those comparisons out willy-nilly. You're talking about a young man who could have been number one overall as a wide receiver. He could have been number one overall as a running back. He could have been number one overall as a safety. This is what he's done. And all of a sudden, you drop his ranking down a spot because you did not ESPN. You did not want this young man to be notarized as the number one overall player going to the HBCU. And you know it. See, ESPN, you're about strike five right now you're past strike three don't let me get started on the crap you did this season and in the spring these quote-unquote technical difficulties but if alabama was playing auburn oklahoma was playing texas and shout out to the sooners If Ohio State was playing Michigan, those teams I named, there would be no technical difficulties, no stoppage in media timeouts for, just because uh, th there's bad connection, no bad camera angles. How many times have you seen SWAT games, HBCU games overall, and there's horrible connections? The FCS playoffs had better camera angles, a better production than the HBCU games, and that's unacceptable. It's, it's times like this where I feel like it's best that there's another network that can showcase these games. ESPN, unfortunately, they have the money. They have the backing and they have the platform. But I'm sick and tired of them. It is a game within a game, my brothers and sisters. Remember, I always tell you about the game within the game. Now you're seeing it. I've never, in, in my life living, paying attention to sports, I can't remember a time when an athlete went from number one overall to number two overall in a matter of seconds. I had a couple of people hit me up and was like, DJ, Travis Hunter was just number one overall moments ago. I said, he should still be. They told me, nah, ESPN dropped him to number two. I'm like, number two, he was just number one. That's how quick it was. 
ESPN moved like a thief in the night. But here's a good thing about what the reality is. The reality is, is that all the other credible sites on three recruiting 24 seven rivals, scout, you name it has Travis Hunter at number one overall. ESPN is the only website that has Travis Hunter number two, which means you guys at ESPN have no credibility. You just have the name recognition. That was a pathetic move. And it, you see why I have beef with that network. You want to make all that money from brothers and sisters playing sports, but you can't even respect us. When we choose to go to a university that's for our people, that understands us as black men and women. So what you fail to realize, and I'm talking to the, the people who hate on a young man's decision, his decision, let me repeat, his decision, it is his life. It's not your life. It's his life. And he has the right to do what's best for him, his family, and his future, like I said earlier in this video. And to the Florida State fans, Florida State's a historical brand. Growing up, I've always liked watching their team. They had a lot of swag. Them, Miami, and uh, my favorite team in FBS is the Oklahoma Sooners. The Sooners were my number one favorite team in FBS. But Florida State was a school I admired looking at. And they had the swagger and, and the athletes that go to the NFL, all that, just like Miami. But to some of the Seminole fans who are out there burning memorabilia of Coach Prime Deion Sanders, a coach who used to play for Florida State, put Florida State on the damn map. And this is what you're going to do to him? Talking about he's not welcome back to Tallahassee anymore. Now, some of the brothers and sisters... You know, you look at social media, they're disappointed. It's okay to be disappointed when you don't acquire a talent like Travis Hunter. So that's not the problem. But I'm talking about those other folks who showed their true colors. See, I'm glad you showed your true colors after the situation. Because what it shows is that you don't care about the well-being of these brothers. You only want to use their talents so you can entertain yourselves. Let's call it what it is. So yes, I'm glad it was all exposed. And you know what? All the athletes saw that. Because Travis Hunter is very popular within players. And they saw your reaction. So I'm not, I'm not putting an anti-FBS brand or anything. I'm just saying, you got to be more respectful to these athletes. That's all I'm asking. And I don't want to hear about, well, if it happened in the SWAC, they would have acted the same way. I've never seen someone in the SWAC burn memorabilia over a decision. I haven't seen it. They may talk trash to a rival school. But they don't get down like that. The reaction was toxic as hell. And I don't even use that word that much. But I'll say it again. It was toxic as hell. Over a damn selection. Yeah, I would have been pissed off too if my favorite player. No, if a player decommitted to my favorite school. Yeah, I, I would have been like a fan like, damn. But I would have never reacted like that. That's, come on now. At the end of the day, it's sports. 
But Jackson State fans and fans of all HBCUs, don't let the negativity of outside influence steal your joy. This is history. And this is going to cause a ripple effect for the better. I cannot wait for the Celebration Bowl. Sold out. A lot of our people are going to be there supporting their favorite teams. But it's going to be a show. I just can't wait to see it on national TV. The bright lights. The cameras. Two coaches going at it. The legendary Buddy Pooh. He's put out NFL players at South Carolina State and Coach Prime Deion Sanders, who has his team 11 and 1. Isn't that amazing? Celebration Bowl is going to outsell and out viewership the FCS National Championship. Y'all already said it. <laughs> it's going to do numbers. This is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth giving you the raw content that you deserve to need stay blessed out there have a positive mind uh, it's holiday season find a way to give back to charity to to the less fortunate i mean shoot go on google you'll find somewhere to donate give back to the needy stop being greedy like dmx used to say and uh y'all have a blessed one and i'm out Thank <laughs> you.